So what do you reckon? Could you be a police constable? Find out if you can be more than the badge at kent.police.uk forward slash officers. Wow, so when you take someone into custody, this is where they would so this, this be? this is very similar to what would be in a normal police station. Generally, there'd be a lot more. Um, so you'd normally go before the custody sergeant here. Uh, arrested officers would explain why you've been arrested. Uh, custody sergeant would agree and uh, authorise detention. And you're kept in a cell whilst we investigate a crime before we interview. Like, you just feel like... You would just sit in here and just think, what have I done? <gasps> OK, was you with anyone? Yeah, my mate, actually, she came up to me at the start of the incident. It's quite intense, yeah, even it though it's just training. Yeah, like none of them are looking around. No, They're just really intense. looking at each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to put you in a set of handcuffs. Okay. Uh, well, no, we're going to take you to the ground first in right. an arm entanglement takedown, but really nice and slow and controlled, and obviously. What, arm entanglement takedown. Right. This, is this something new for you? Yeah, oh, yeah, kind of, yeah. Now we know her upper body's controlled. We're now going to move to the lower body. Uh, normally this would be if she was kicking off still, yeah. we'd use the limb restraints oh, to control her leg. It's not worth it. So you're going to go to your knees on three. Okay. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. One, two, three to the knees. I'm really like sweating. Have you learned your lesson? Are you going to kick off like that any, ever again? No, I'm not kicking off again. I promise I'll play ball from now on. <laughs> hey! Hey! So you've had your bag taken, is that right? Yeah. Okay, what happened? Well, I was actually in the house. I forgot my sunglasses, yeah. so I ran in to get them. It felt really real from the moment we were out in the street. Um, to being back in the house with the policemen when they came in. It felt really real. They gave a great vibe as soon as they got there. They were really reassuring, just a great presence as soon as they arrived in the street. And as well as being real for us, I think that's what's really important. The students who are at the college, it is a real situation for them and that's a great way of training them before they're actually out on the street. And another thing that I really noticed when we watched that back is the use of technology. Yeah. Like the officer was out on his phone, he was using his phone to put information in. Instead of like using a notebook and pad, yeah. it means that then that information is there straight away. They can be sending that off straight away. It's a lot quicker. And it also means that they can be doing like crime reports, CCTV, yeah. using all that technology. Camera going here. That's it, yeah, all using that technology stuff, yeah. to their advantage. It was really, really good. This afternoon, what we're going to look to do is we've got somebody who's gone round uh, and set a track for him. We're going to ask you to run round the dog will track where the uh, offender has gone and hopefully try and locate him uh, wherever he is in the field over to the left. He's got something. Oh, wow, look, look, look. OK, so he's sniffing Straight it out. So over. the pallet is where you said we know he's been at the pallet. Oh, he's found him. OK, OK. Do you want to come out? Keep the dog on the leg. Keep the dog on the leg. Take a step. You won't get bitten. OK, we're on the bus uh, in Fake Street and the aggressive man is about to jump on this bus and scare us all and he's going to have a baseball bat and... Well, let's hope the dog can save us. Yeah. Oh, no, he's coming back on. Oh, he's oh, back, he's back, he's back, he's back. He's back, he's back. Oh, he's back. Oh, no. Ah! 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 I get up! Oh, sir! I get up! I get up! Whoa, Whoa. see that? As soon as he said, I give up, and Craig called him back, Reggie was gone. He said to him, come back. Oh my god, it's so hard! Yeah! Ah, okay. Push it open. Right. Yeah. Teach our officers how to deal with fire in a public order situation. And what we're going to do now is demonstrate to you how we would behave during such an incident. So as he goes through, he'll stamp his feet. And the idea that the overalls are coated with a, a special coating which allows the petrol or any liquids to bead as they come off. Some more amazing stuff then. We've just seen how to get in somewhere where they don't want you to get in, bashing indoors and busting outdoors, and how these amazing guys are trained, and gals, are trained to cope with just the most crazy situations, including, as you saw, with the petrol bombs. So, so cool. And if you think you could be more than the badge, go to kent.police.uk forward slash officers.